Hello students, in this video we are going to see the production of x-rays. Many a times you must have heard from the doctors that they are asking for the x-rays of the patient in the case of dislocation of the bones or the fracture of the bones. Since x-rays produces the clear image of the inside structure of the body or inside dislocation of the fractures of the bones, that's why it's very easy for the medical doctors to diagnose about the patient for the deciding for deciding the line of treatment or for the treatment. So the question is what the x-rays are and how they are produced that we are going to see under this video. So basic concepts about the x-rays they are discovered in 1895 by Wilhelm Röntgen. X-rays have wavelength in the range of 0.01 nanometer that is 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters to 10 nanometers that is 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters. They are having frequency in the range of 30 beta hertz that is 10 to the power 15 to 30 exahertz that is 10 to the power 18 hertz while the energy is associated with the x-rays lies in between 100 electron holes to 100 kilo electron holes. So far the wavelengths of x-rays are concerned. X-rays are shorter than ultraviolet rays so far the wavelength is concerned while they are longer than gamma rays so far the wavelength is concerned again. That's why we have shown x-rays having wavelengths which is lying in between gamma rays and ultraviolet rays. X-rays can be obtained through high vacuum tube with a heater, cathode and anode. Characteristics of X-rays X-rays basically are the form of electromagnetic radiation. They are having high energies and can pass through the body easily. Medical X-rays are used to generate images of tissue and structure inside the body. And now moving on to the production of x-rays. Here you can see a glass tube of a special kind that is a special vacuum tube. It's also called as electron tube which is operating at very high voltage is used for the production of x-rays. Vacuum tube has a hot filament as you can see here. Cathode and an anode made up of very heavy metal. Electron flows from the cathode to anode as you can see in the diagram in as in any diode tube. However, a large DC voltage is used between cathode and anode of the X-ray tube. When heater is on, I mean this is heater element and when it is made on and very high anode to cathode voltage is applied. Electrons emit from the cathode travel the anode with a very high velocity and this beam of electrons strikes the metal anode at such a speed that a new rays emit from the slanting portion or slanting surface of the anode. These are x-rays seems to bounce sideways and out through the wall of the tube. As the DC voltage anode to cathode of the x-ray tube is increased the wavelength of X-rays decreases. Same tube now operates at more than a million holes. So I hope the idea about the X-rays, their characteristics, basics of the X-rays and so far the production of X-rays is concerned. The diagram and its working in chart is clear to you. Thank you.